Did you know that the Anglo-Saxons made antibiotics? My name is Dr Freya Harrison and I'm a microbiologist at the University of Nottingham. Along with my colleagues, I'm interested in whether historical remedies to treat infections actually worked and whether we could use some of these remedies to develop new antibiotics. Antibiotic resistant infections are on the rise. In hospitals we have a lot of problematic infections that are now extremely difficult to treat with most of the commonly used um, antibiotics. A big problem that we have is that there are no real new drugs uh, or antibiotic drugs that are in the developmental pipeline and so what we need are novel new types of treatment to be able to tackle this increasing problem. To try to prevent us entering some kind of apocalyptic post-antibiotic era in which simple infections prove fatal, scientists are working really hard to develop new antibiotics. Our team at Nottingham has been systematically exploring antibiotic remedies in historical medical books from the medieval and early modern periods to see if we can identify any recipes or any ingredients that might really have antibiotic potential. A lot of people assume that prior to the advancements of the Enlightenment there was really no medicine, that nothing could be done for people. But what people tend to forget is that even in the Anglo-Saxon period we had a number of medical books. Some of these are translations from classical sources, so not all classical knowledge went away. But some of these also seem to be based in indigenous medicine, and what we might call folk medicine. We've identified a 1,000 year old Anglo-Saxon treatment for an infection that was probably caused by Staphylococcus aureus a bacterium that's perhaps best known in its highly antibiotic resistant form as the hospital superbug MRSA. We've found that the Anglo-Saxon recipe is really lethal to Staphylococcus aureus and that this activity is due to the careful combination of ingredients used. What we're hoping with this project is to gain a deeper understanding not only in the, into the efficacy of these um, ingredients but also how did the Anglo-Saxon doctor work? And it is extremely exciting to do a project that is so cross-disciplinary and that allows us to look at the question of learning and medical knowledge in Anglo-Saxon England from a very new angle. We're seeking to raise £1,000 so that we can offer a summer research project to a talented undergraduate student. An extra pair of hands in the lab will help us move our research forward to see if this Anglo-Saxon antibiotic really does have clinical potential. In return, we'll offer the students some fantastic work experience and mentoring to get them started on their career in science.